Charter of the United Nations prohibits the use of force against the territorial integrity or political independence of any state or in any other manner inconsistent with the purposes of the United Nations. Furthermore, the principle of inviolability of diplomatic and consular premises and personnel must be respected in all cases in accordance with international law, as I stated when condemning the 1 April attack on the Iranian consulate in Damascus. The Middle East is on the brink. The people of the region are confronting a real danger of a devastating full-scale conflict. Now is the time to defuse and de-escalate. Now is the time for maximum restraint. The Charter of the United Nations prohibits the use of force against the territorial integrity or political independence of any state or in any other manner inconsistent with the purposes of the United Nations. Furthermore, the principle of inviolability of diplomatic and consular premises and personnel must be respected in all cases in accordance with international law, as I stated when condemning the 1 April attack on the Iranian consulate in Damascus. It's vital to avoid any action that could lead to major military confrontations on multiple fronts in the Middle East. Civilians are already bearing the brunt and paying the highest price. And we have a shared responsibility to actively engage all parties concerned to prevent further escalation. Saya Ihsan Sitorus, saksikan program-program Kompas TV melalui siaran digital, pay TV, dan media streaming lainnya. Kompas TV, independen, terpercaya.